Why is Captain Crunch a hero? It all started with Squish, the Sock Master. Sock them. The Milky Way was on its way to sock everything. Could nothing resist? Captain Crunch cereal took a direct hit. Still crunchy, still sweet, still delicious. But would a shield of Captain Crunch cereal really beat the Soggies? Ah. <laughs> Oh, crunchy. We're afraid of those soggy. Captain Crunch cereal is a delicious part of this bell's breakfast. Backbone, backbone. Don't be no sleep today. Backbone, backbone. Crazy game to play! Bedbugs is a frantic new catch and capture game where you pick a color yeah. and then scramble to get the most bugs. Bedbugs! Bedbugs! Don't let them get away! Bedbugs! Bedbugs! It's a wacky game to play! Bedbugs! 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 Bedbug
genius, a brilliant and resourceful Cobra agent. This is Cobra Commander. He craves power, but when he feels most powerful, he is most vulnerable. I do not understand what gratification you derive from these vulgar processions. Security forces! It's not like Flint and Lady J to blow town without telling us. I'm worried. Real worried. Let's just come out and say it. They were... Kidnapped. Our leader and the Baroness have been kidnapped. By whom, Destro? Perhaps by somebody who wants to be the new Cobra leader, like yourself? That is absurd. There is only one group who would dare this. Cobra. But they're not gonna get away with it. G.I. Joe. We'll learn a bitter lesson. First, we must lure one of them into our hands, and then... to see you. But where are we? Good morning, players. I am the Games Master. Welcome to my game. As there are no rules, it will be an easy game to learn. Hidden somewhere on this island is a one-man helicopter. The winner is the one who finds it and flies away. What happens to the losers? <laughs> they die. <laughs> Good luck and have fun. Do you know who I am? You can't do this to me. I will make you suffer. <laughs> G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Dive! Fire! It's not toy ammo! Let's get out of here! Wait for me! striker this month. Duke's not gonna be pleased. Uh-oh. Okay, guys, I get the message. How kind of you to drop in, Ace. 
I have need of certain information from you. What kind of place is this, Flint? I don't know, Lady J, but I smell candy. That looks like licorice on that tree and marshmallows on that one. We're in a candy forest. That can't be real. I think it is. I took a caramel apple. Hmm, these look like bonbon berries. Uh, look out! Flint, help! Cobra! No! Hold it, Baroness. I said hold it. Big as a pig. You're good, Baroness. But I'm better. Get me out of here. I'm sinking in caramel. Not caramel, but a scotch. What do we do now, Baroness? We can either save them or we can fight. There's no time to do both. You get Lady J out first, you might double team me. If I get the commander out first, we will definitely jump you. I'll tell you what, Baroness. You'll just have to trust me. You save Lady J, I'll save Cobra Commander. <coughs> this is disgusting! is clear. Let's do it. All right, Scarlet, remember to pack the baby. No, don't shoot! Those vials are full of deadly swamp flu! Then talk fast, or we're all gonna need bed rest and plenty of aspirin. Watch this, Coco. It's a real ho-ho. I'll lead us back into the villa to surprise the games master. Very clever, Flint. How considerate of you. You set off the alarms and we straggle behind to get captured. All right, you go first. And turn my back on you? How stupid do you think I am? Have you got a better idea? Yes! We find the helicopter and I fly it to safety. I will immediately dispatch troops to rescue you. Oh, even I cannot swallow that one. Whose side are you on? The same side you are on. My own. Ah! Look! to try. G.I. Joe is dedicated to saving lives, even Cobra Commanders. Uh-oh, I think it worked. of sorrow. Think of revenge. Revenge upon that accursed games master. G.I. <laughs> Joe will return after these messages. Now, 
back to G.I. Joe. Tell me where G.I. Joe has taken Cobra Commander and the Baroness, or I will resort to extreme measures. Listen up, Chrome Dome. We don't know where they are, so save yourself a lot of trouble and return Flint and Lady J. What are you talking about? The Joes you kidnapped, remember? You are testing my patience, Ace. What is it? The stress call from Swamp Lab 2. G.I. Joe agents have Zartan. <laughs> Let them keep him and his germs. We'll exchange hostages for Flint and the Lady J. What? Son of a gun, you really didn't know. Say, I got a better idea, Duke. What if we only make Zartan sick? I've heard worse. What about my human rights? Talk or drink? Shoot me anything, but don't give me that! Then where are Flint and Lady J? Probably with Cobra Commander and the Baroness. Give him a swig. Greetings, Joe T. It seems that we have a problem in common. The only problem we have is you. And you're pretty common. Incorrect. Two of our agents and two of yours have been kidnapped. All apparently by a third party. No third party could pull it off. There is no other logical explanation. How do you know? First, you must promise me your cooperation. Give me one good reason to trust you. Cobra agents, drop your weapons. Ooh. That's a good reason. All right, give me the lowdown. Hello, suckers. Defenseless women to fend for themselves. Yes. Ah, you're a manly peasant. I'll settle it. I'll take the copter. Better you than him. Ah. Ah. One thing I hate, it is mowing the lawn. I hate lawn mowers! <laughs> mow, mow, mow them down, chop them as they run. Whirlily, 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 I'm having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny, Coco? I haven't heard you laugh in so long. Now we're playing my game. Turn it off or get hurt. Uh-oh. <laughs> you cheat! You cheat! Team. Hey, listen to this, guys. I don't know where I am, so trace this broadcast. Some guy named the Gamesman. 
Master has managed somehow to... Flynn, this is Breaker. Come in. Oh, it's dead. But I zeroed in on his position. Good. Alert Cobra and dispatch a strike team. You really want us to tell Cobra? No, but a deal's a deal. More players! Yippee! <laughs> All I have to do is activate the island defenses and watch the fun! trip to Davy Jones' locker. I'm heading in. Every time you do that, Ace, it gets expensive. Time to shut down the missile works. Agreed. Competition keeps us in shape. My water rocket defense is finished. My ships are sunk and my troops are in trouble. All my toys are broken and it's your fault! Oh! Yeah, yeah, you can't catch me! Look out! Where's this Games Master character? He went through there. Come on! Where is Cobra Commander? Knee deep in a marshmallow swamp. Is that your idea of a joke? Okay, look for yourself. <laughs> there will be another game, Joe and Cobra. And next time, I will win! <laughs> Look at us! It is a pity we could not combine our forces. Imagine the power we could have! You think so? We almost got greased by toy soldiers. I've had enough of your sarcasm for one day! Go! Get out of here! Okay, we'll be going. Oh, very clever, Flint. How considerate of you. You'll take off, then circle back and destroy our planes on the ground. Then you go first. And turn our backs to you? How stupid do you think I am? Look, have you got a better idea? G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Play-Doh-Make-A-Meal Diner. Every day we want to have some fun. We order fries and a burger to go. Ice cream and a cookie tree. And we make it with our diner like so. Crank, crank, crank. Press it and lift it. Pack it and pop it. Squish, squish. The Play-Doh Diner is hopping. The Play-Doh-Make-A-Meal Diner comes with everything you see here. Rainbow back sold separately. When you put on the radio-controlled Turbo Fist, get ready for the ultimate driving experience. Because with Turbo Fist, your hand makes the car go left, go right, through the curves, and into turbo speed. You're in total control only with Turbo Fist.
Turbo Fist puts the power and control in your hands. Turbo Fist radio control vehicle comes with glove and car. Batteries not included. New from Tonka. So, all your education got you down? Well, step into it. Step into a Slim Jim. Turn to the spice, that busy, juicy taste. What is the meaning of this? Feel a little excitement? Step into a Slim Jim. It's Megazord. When evil space aliens threaten Earth, the mighty Morphin Power Rangers, in their Dinozords, morph to become the Megazord. The Megazord is part of the mighty Morphin Power Rangers ultimate battle system. Hey, I thought you were driving. Me? I thought you were. Ah! Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, too hot to handle. Today, California Beat is on the scene at Venice Beach. Something's always happening at Venice Beach, right, Connie? That's right, Terry. The boardwalk is crawling with rock celebrities. We'll be talking with some of them and find out just what they're doing in town. Cut! Very good. Have the misfits arrived yet? Not yet. Want to start with someone else? Yeah, get Sean, will you? Boy, it's Jim and Holograms, some of me favorite ladies. Sean, hi! Hi, Sean! What's happening? What's happening? Might I have a word with you, Kimber? Sean, they want you now. Oh, duty calls. Uh, later, Kimber? Sure. You know Sean Harrison, the British teen idol? Uh-huh. You often record other artists' material. Are you looking for a song here on Venice Beach? If it's good, well, I'm always looking. Mainly, me and the boys are here to perform at the Roller Rockout. What is that awful racket? It's the Misfits! Well, hi there, ladies. Okay, we're here. Let's get it over with. 
All right, roll tape. We're rolling? Action! Uh, the misfits have arrived here, and as usual, managed to gain everyone's attention. Tell us, Pizzazz, what are the misfits doing on Venice Beach? Are you working anywhere, or are you just cruising for a vacancy charge? Hey! We've got lunch with Mick Jagger, a possible recording session with Michael Jackson, Pizzazz and Sean Harrison have got something going, and... I see, but you have no work lined up. Terry, have you got a question? Uh, yeah, are you free for dinner? Mm, maybe. And that about sums it up for the Misfits. Cut. What are you writing, Kimber? Oh, it's nothing. A few thoughts that I might turn into a song. Really, nothing. I work out a lot of things in here. I can be as silly or as serious as I'm feeling. Well, that's it. I'm not silly enough. <laughs> Kimber, forgive me like a charm for Nessa patience, but I've been thinking about this for months, and would you... Will you... What is it, Sean? Would you write a song for me, Kimber? Sean, do you mean it? Miss Benton, you're wanted on the set. Will you meet me for dinner tonight at Las Palomas? I'll be there. Eight o'clock? Eight o'clock sharp. Hurry, Jenna. We're going back to the hotel to watch the show. Yes, we're enjoying ourselves very much. Tomorrow we go to the Roller Rock Out to see Sean Harrison, and the next night we'll be on Harriet Horn's show. Rhea, how does it feel to be the newest member of Gem and the Holograms? Oh, it's a dream come true. But how will you feel on Friday when you're being barbecued by Harriet Horn, the Queen Barracuda of rock gossip? Oh, come on, Terry. Ms. Horn doesn't incinerate everybody. Besides, we're pretty boring as gossip material. And that's it for today's edition of California Beat. On the scene in... Why, those creeps! They cut out our segment! Oh, nobody knows we're in town. Sweet Kimber Benton. Dag me! Oh! I'd love to get something on her. Harriet Horn would beg us to be on her show. Well, how about sweet little Kimber's mean streak? Or her crush on Sean Harrison? What's that? Kimber's diary. Here, read what she says about you. <laughs> I wouldn't waste my time. Roxy isn't dumb, but she is so ignorant. Oh, yeah? And Pizzazz is just a rich, spoiled brat. Let me see that. Why, that little... <sighs> <laughs> she even badmouths members of her own group. They'll be devastated. Letters for Jim and the Holograms? Thank you. Hmm, there's an envelope for each of you and Kimber. You didn't get one, Rhea? No. What could it be? Shayna can be so ridiculously insecure about her talent. It's a real pain. Aja was so cold today, sometimes I wonder if she has any feelings at all. Who wrote those things? Sometimes I wish Jem were my sister instead of Jerrica. Kimber? Where did you get those? They've been torn out of my diary. It's gone. Somebody is using it to hurt the people I love. I'm so sorry. It smarts a little, but then we all know I am sensitive. We know you love us, so forget that. We need to figure out what to do. There's an envelope for you too, Kimber. Cool Trash Magazine has your diary. They're going to publish my diary in Cool Trash Magazine. look like we mean business. Right. You look fine, Kimber, but the rest of us, synergy, we need some intimidating personas. As you wish, Cherica. <laughs> this diary is gold, pure gold. Mr. Pitt Slurman, publisher of Cool Trash Magazine? Yeah, so what? I'm Kimber Benton, and I want my diary back. What are you talking about? As your business manager, I suggest you let your lawyer speak for you. Lawyer? Mr. Slurman, are you familiar with the penalties for receiving stolen goods? Now, wait a minute. What's she doing? I'm recording every word you say. You can stop that right now. Come on, get out of my office. Here it is. You can't 
just... Oh, yes, we can. Ladies, we got what we came for. Blast it. Relax, sleaze man. Here. You don't need the whole diary. Just the dirt. Fantastic. Now all I need is a quick interview with Sean Harrison, and I'll have a real scandal for cool trash. One interview coming right up. Show's over, Synergy. Oh, no. Somebody let the air out of our tires. Don't be late for dinner, Kimber! Oh, no. I was supposed to meet Sean over an hour ago. Sean's going to think I stood him up. What could be keeping her? All alone, Sean. <sighs> Hello, Pizzazz. And goodbye. I'm waiting for someone. And here I am. Say cheese. That's perfect. That's enough of this stuff. Move it, ladies. Uh, Mr. Harrison, I'm Pitt Slurman from Cool Trash Magazine. Look, I don't give unscheduled interviews. <laughs> Sean's cranky because Kimber Benton stood him up. Sean, just give me a little something like, you know, in my opinion, Kimba Benton's just a flaky little girl. What do you see in her? I could care less about your opinion. She's a child in spirit, but her work is quite mature. And what about a real woman like Pizzazz? Pizzazz is a real woman. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Well, is Pizzazz gonna write a song for you, Sean? She can if she wants to, but I won't sing it. I'm leaving! That wasn't much of an interview. Don't think so, huh? Hey, ladies, I'm a pro. Gather round and check this out. Kimba Benton, what do you see in her? I could care less. She's a child. Yes? Miss Kimba Benton calling for Sean Harrison? Oh, sorry, ducks. He just left with that glamorous rock star, Pizzazz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't know where he's staying. Now that's too bad, Chicky. <laughs> Why don't you try his fan club? <laughs> I can see the headline now. Kimba loves Sean. He could care less. Miss Kimber Benton? Yes, thank you. Oh, no. Now what? What is it, Kimber? It's a picture of Sean with Pizzazz and Jetta. What are you going to do, Kimber? I'm going to believe in Sean, and I'm not going to let Pizzazz get to me this time. No matter what. Thank you, thank you. The boys and me are gonna break, but we'll be back. Harriet, Kimber's being cool trashed. Pass it on. That song was one of his originals. Isn't he great, Kimber? And to think he asked you to write for him. Hey, Gov, look who's here. Well, that's a relief. Kimber! Kimber! Hold it right there! Ladies and gentlemen, Sean is such a good friend of mine. We're gonna help him out. Miss Vince, let's add some spice to this boring roller drama.
he could care less. Pizzazz is writing a song for Sean. Sean thinks Kimber is a child, but Pizzazz is a real woman. Kimber, is Asha really cold? admit you created one heck of a scandal. So, put us on your show. Okay, okay. You can be on tomorrow with Jem and the Holograms. Fine! They won't have the guts to show up now! <sighs> I'll never be able to ride again. <laughs> scandal! I love a scandal. I just hate to say scandal. Yes? Oh, thank goodness. No, you were right to call. We'll be home first thing in the morning. Thank you for calling. Kimber is safe in her room. Shouldn't we head over there tonight? I bet she wants to be alone. We've got to let her deal with it in her own way. I work out a lot of things in my diary. It's private. Would you... Will you write a song for me? The whole world ought to see what Kimber's really like. Kimber's being trashed. Pass it on. Extra, extra, Kimber's diary. Read it for yourself. I'll never write again. Never write again. Enough! Synergy? Yes, Kimber? Change me, Synergy. Change me into someone hard and mean. Someone who can never be hurt. As you wish, Kimber. Is this another phase you're going through, Kimber? Uh-uh. The dumb little good girl phase is over. I'm staying tough. Your father hoped you'd be strong, but I suppose tough is good enough. What do you mean? What did my father tell you about me? Oh, he told me many things about you. He said you were a born charmer. Take a look. From the beginning, you enchanted everyone, even butterflies. You were sensitive and suffered when you saw pain. But the knocks and scrapes of childhood did not stop you. You were creative. You were drawn to music and writing. You were often frustrated, but you kept at it. When you were 11, you had your first big test. You had written a song for the school talent show. Some unruly boys made fun of you as you began your sensitive ballad. You'd been proud of your little song. Now you were humiliated. Backstage, your father gave you a pep talk. You went back out there and the audience loved you. At that moment, your father knew that you could survive in the music business. He was very proud of you. Kimber, what did your father say in that pep talk? He said, be true to yourself. Believe in your song and give the whole audience a chance. Can you still be true to yourself, Kimber? I think I can. Now. Thank you, Synergy. Oh, I wish I'd brought my diary. Kimber, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine, really. Are we still on for Harriet Horn? Yes, but you don't have to go. We'll deal with it. But I want to go, Rhea. What? Why? Because I just wrote the song we're going to sing. Come on. You are too much. So, tell me more. Why did you take the diary you found to Cool Trash Magazine? Because Gimber's such a wimp. She deserved it. <laughs> yeah, what a sissy writing in a diary. Listen to them cut us down out there. Five seconds, ladies. Five seconds. Do you feel okay about the song? It's more than okay. It's the last thing they'll expect. Ready? Ready. 
And now the group we've all been talking about, Jam and the Hologram. I thought she'd be mincemeat, and here she turned the scandal around with a song. But wait, it might turn around again. Here's my surprise guest, Sean Harrison. Thanks, folks. Well, Harriet's asked me here to add another dimension to this little melodrama. Actually, it seemed the only way to get a word in with the elusive Kimber. Uh, this seat taken, Princess? No. Good. Because I ain't good at explaining while I'm on my feet. Come on now, Sean. What's the real story behind the Cool Trash interview? Bottom line is, the interview is a complete fabrication. Pure drivel. I have nothing but the highest regard for Kimber. I respect her as a person and an artist. So, what do you say, dear chum? Will you write that song for me? What? Look, I'm supposed to write your song. I'm better than she is. Don't believe everything you read. Quit dreaming and grow up, Bazaz. Why, I am a... Sit and stifle yourself? Well? Yes. I'll write a song for you, Sean. Ha <laughs> ha! Good show! <laughs> Exciting, huh, kids? My barbecues are never dull. We've only seconds left, Kimber. One last question. After everything that's happened, will you ever write in your diary again? Well, what do you think? Just you and me, just you and me. Good night, friend. Dear Diary. Jim will be right back after these messages. It's Marvel Comics' Amazing Spider-Man like you've never seen him before in four action-packed video games. Spider-Man comes to the NES in Revenge of the Sinister Six. Dr. Octopus has assembled Electro, Mysterio, Hobgoblin, and more. Only you can disarm his evil plan to rule the world. For portable web-swinging action, it's Spider-Man 2 for Game Boy and Spider-Man for Game Gear. You'll need your spider sense when you take on supervillains Venom and Carnage. Get ready as Marvel Comics Dream Team bursts onto Super Nintendo in Spider-Man and the X-Men in Arcade's Revenge. It'll take all your mutant powers, Spidey's webs, Wolverine's adamantium claws, Cyclops' optic glass, Storm's lightning and Gambit's exploding cards to foil Arcade's diabolical plot. Marvel Comics Amazing Spider-Man on NES, Game Boy, Game Gear, and now Super Nintendo. If this is too much action for you, take it up with this guy. Sword isn't powerful enough. The mighty Morphin Power Rangers summon Dragon Zord and Titanus the Motorized Carrier Zord. They morph with Megazord to form the ultimate battle machine, Ultra Zord. Say, 
Hey, who brought you where we're going? Huh? Not me, I'm not. Uh -oh. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, too hot to handle. Predacons, terrorize! Maximals, maximize! It's a new mega stage of transformation! Fire! Polar Claw maximize! Polar Claw transforms and launches his battle ready attack back against evil Predacon Scorponok! A robot in disguise with a killer bee inside! The newest stage of transformation! Force! Maximal Polar Claw! Predacon Scorponok! Each sold separately! There's something new inside Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pasta from Chef Boyardee. I get to be, uh... I get to be Michelangelo. Radical, dudes. It still has the turtles. Well, I don't want to... I get to be Donatello. Cowabunga! But now it also has... The Shredder! New Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus the Shredder with a new thicker sauce. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. and defender of the Crystal Castle. This is Spirit, my beloved steed. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, for the honor of Grayskull! A few others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madame Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda! about, Froster. Come, I will show you. Greetings, Empress. The view crystal is prepared as you ordered. Thank you, Captain Bran. Shira, this is Captain Bran, leader of my warriors. Captain? Gaze into the crystal, and you will see the problem. The snow. It's black. That is Galatia, land of the Selkis. Black snow fell there for three days, ruining the crops and causing the animals to grow sick. The Selkis blame this on us, but if you ask me, it's only a trick. They just want an excuse to start a war. We have no proof of that, Captain Braun. They didn't need proof to accuse us. Enough! If we are to avoid war, we must keep our tempers under control. Forgive me, Empress. Why should the Selkies think you did this, Frosta? We and the Selkies were enemies for many years. We made a truce when the Horde came, but I fear there is still much mistrust between our kingdoms. And the Black Snow did not fall here. I bet this is Horde work. I agree. But the Silkies will need proof that my people are not to blame. And I'll help you get it. she -ra! This black snow not only looks bad, it smells bad, too. It's little wonder the Silkies are so upset. This kingdom was as beautiful as my own before this dreadful snowfall. What's that? Oh, snow helpers. A whole pack by the sound of it. Are they dangerous? Normally, no, but if they're sick from the black snow, there's no telling what they may do. They're all around us. They're sick all right. I can feel it. And they're about to...
innocent creatures, and when we find the ones responsible for this wicked snow, they will answer to me. Hmm. Rasta and she -Ra. I compute that this means trouble. I must inform Modulark immediately. Modulark, calling Modulark. A friend, and he has some interesting news. Foster has entered Galicia. The Ice Empress? Here? Why? She wants to see the effect of the black snow for herself. It proves what I told you is true, West. The snow people are the ones who created the black snow. We must find her at once. That won't be necessary. Take their men to Giant's Roost, and I'll deliver Foster right into your hands. Very well, but do not fail us. The snow people must pay for their treachery. Of course. We've covered a lot of ground, but we've still got nothing to show for it. There must be a clue to what has caused this strange weather. Shira and Frost are right below us. Activate the blizzard beam. <laughs> Oh, you noticed that, did you? I'm afraid I'll 
don't have to get a little more messy. Ready to play catch, my friend? Frost's disappearance, but I bet he knows who did. Hold on, Multibot. Why should we fight each other? I have orders to capture you. Oh, who could order a big, tough robot like you around? Modulon! He created me, and he's watching us from up there, right now. Up there? You're joking. Oh, no, I'm not. He's there, all right. In his weather wheel. Weather wheel? Is that what's causing this black snow? Of course. Mark him up and tell him yourself. He is a genius. And you are an incomplete. You've told She-Ra everything. Thanks for the information, Multibot. I think I'll just drop in on your genius friend. Not until I capture you. <laughs> Oh, well, if you refuse to be reasonable... Hmm, you seem to have made some sort of error. That should keep Modulok's robot out of my hair for a while. Now to get Modulok himself. I ask you one more time, Frosta. Stop the black snow. And I tell you again, Nawa. My people are not responsible for it. She lies. Her people have always wanted our kingdom, and this is their way of getting it. Do you want war, Frosta? No good ruler wants war. That's why you must listen to me. We Selkies do not fear war. If the snow people will not stop their treachery, let it be war. Right. We hear the voice of my people. I hear young hotheads spouting old hatreds. A typical beginning for the horrors of war. But I tell you again, I cannot stop the black snow. Take her to a cell and send a messenger to the kingdom of snows at once when they learn we have their empress. Now, you mustn't. If you tell them you've made me a prisoner, my people will want war too. Away with her! <laughs> He's got Shira looking for me now. Of course, without her feet, she can't reach me. But wait, what's she doing now? Swift wind, can you hear me? Swift wind. <laughs> I hear you, Shira. I need you right away, Swifty. Follow my thoughts. But fly above the clouds, so the black snow doesn't harm you. I'm on my way. <laughs> and until the black snow is removed, your empress will remain our prisoner. What, what, what will we do? Do? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll march on the Selkie City and destroy it unless they return Frosta to us. Oh, no. That would mean war. Then war it will be. Do you hear me, messenger of the Selkies? Clearly, man of snows. And our people will be waiting. Ron, I'm sure Frosta wouldn't want this. Frosta is a prisoner. I am in charge of the army, and I say we march now. I don't understand it. What is she trying to do? Shira, I'm here. I can sense your thoughts just below me. Take care of Modulok. No! It's Shira's beast! I must 
Prepare my defenses! Tylak, Sor, report to your platoon leader at once. We're marching out to meet the snow people in battle. Yes, sir. The war begins. I must get out of here and try to stop it. And now that those gods are gone... <laughs>
made a dreadful mistake. Please forgive me, Froster. We were all to blame, Narwa. The best thing we can do is forget the hates of the past and start fresh as friends. Yes, you're right. From this day forward, let Selkies and Snow People walk in peace. Looks like our work is done, Swifty. Then let's go home. I'm cold. Home it is. Up, Swift Wind! Oh, we owe her a great deal. Yes, a great deal indeed. are leaving their old channel behind and moving home to join a new network for kids. Kids WB. To celebrate, get one collector milk cap. We insights between us packages of Kool-Aid Bursts. And get ready for Kids WB. Gango, 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 gango. We were walking through the jungle. And what did we see? A gorilla with the coconuts swinging at me. The gorilla's got the coconuts and your monkey's got to grab as many as he can. Get the most coconuts and you win. But watch out, or Bongo Congo will send you flying off your tree. Bongo Congo, a lot of nutty fun. Bongo Congo, you fucking won. Nice He'll drive you coco nuts. Bongo Congo, no, from Tyco. Nature, it's natural. It's beautiful. It's serene. It's boring. Make friends with Mother Nature. Snap into a Slim Jim. Nature, ain't it grand? You got any more Slim Jims? Ooh, yeah. Spawn takes to the air with winged fury to battle powerful new minions of evil. Spawn rises with new powers in his war against the Empire of the Dark Clans. Mighty wings spring into action with a push of his skull belt as Spawn takes to the skies in a never-ending search for justice. Zombie Spawn's trusty saw makes sure the crutch doesn't have a leg to stand on, while the mangy mangler makes Twitch itch and Sam loses his lunch. There's nobody like nobody to purge the scourge. Spawn continues his flight against evil. Winged Spawn and Spawn Ultra Action Figures, each sold separately. To undo the spell of living stone cast upon his family by driving the evil serpent men back into another dimension and vanquishing their leader, the cruel wizard Rathamon. says he's found star metal. If you're cold, stay on the shield. Ha! <laughs> you call this cold? This is what a veneerman calls Adelie's summer. Adelie? Who is he? She, lad. The daughter of the frost giant, King Emir. King Emir rules the Blue Mountains, and Atali runs over the snow, enticing men to follow her to their doom. <laughs> Better hide, Needle, <laughs> or Adelie might steal you and keep you forever in her ice garden. Oh, Needle, be quiet. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> and here's your gold. 
good. Tomorrow we go up in the mountains and I show you where the star metal is. Snag, we leave tomorrow. Snag! All right, who's next? I am. Good. My arm needs a warm-up for tomorrow's games. Ready? One, two, three, now! <laughs> You're making me work up a sweat! You're a woman! I... that's a problem. <laughs> Woden's beard! You can't expect a man to use his full strength against a mere lass! I'm no mere lass. I'm Britta, and I'm as good as any man. <sighs> No woman makes a fool of me. <laughs> I, you do that for yourself. <laughs> and I'll do this for myself. Good fight, lass! It was my fight. I didn't need you to butt in! I don't think she's impressed. Ah, Conan, that's just a veneer woman's way of saying she likes you. We must stay one extra day so I can win the village games. Very well. But only one extra day. <laughs> that's all I need! Awaiting your report. Rathamon, the snag has caused a delay. My sets fans, I'll feed your war bread heart to a viper's nest if you fear me. It's only one day. Then I take them into the Blue Mountains where Conan and Snag will be destroyed. I promise you. Bring me the star metal and I'll reward you richly. Fail and you'll pay dearly. It is a good day for winning prizes and the heart of a fair maid. <laughs> we must hurry. The tree chopping event is first. I'm even better in a kayak. And you have all the charm of a brain mule. Ah, see? She's falling for me already. That's not what I'm seeing. So much for your boasting, Snag! What do you think of me now? I wish I'd never laid eyes on you. But haven't I proven I'm the best? What more can you want? You've proven nothing but how much you love the sound of your own bragging. Ah, oh, Britta, by Woden's beard, you're the woman for me. When I return from the Blue Mountains, I'll prove it. 
If you're so brave and smart, bring back an ice flower from the garden of the Frost Giant's daughter. I won't return without it. I care not if you would turn it all. We're not far from where the star metal fell. In fact, it's right up there, just past that cliff. Where? I don't see. Now! until I found the Emir's castle and plucked a flower for her. Snag, can't you see? She set you an impossible task to be rid of you. I'll not go back without it. Wait. Then we'll go together, my friend. Giant's daughter! <laughs> Run with me, humans, if you have the courage! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> only for a flower from your sister's garden. Oh? Never! Tor! Take this human to my sleigh. I shall freeze him for my garden. Lars will destroy the other. What's this, a fire symbol? Better than that! 
from thin ice, lad! <laughs> ah, ah! Redbeard! Ice Girl, take Conan away! Ah! All because of my foolish vow to Britta. I must save him! Yes! Go to your doom, human! <laughs> Shall stay forever. <laughs> Daughter! This human must be destroyed. He does not belong here. But I want him for my garden, Father. Then you have him till tonight. When I return, he shall be tossed into the chasm of frost to perish! to me. Wait! Maybe this will warm your heart. Here! No! No! Not that! Tor! How dare they! Father! Father! They brought fire! Humans! All have their bones! He's coming! Run!
bring men here again? Do you understand? Oh, Father, I never have any fun. Snag! Here! You all right? Yes, but by Woden, even I have had enough of the snow. Let's be gone from here. <laughs> Britta! <laughs> I found you! Well, I thought I was well ready, you. Oh, here, as promised, from the garden of the Frost Giant's daughter, I've brought you an ice flower. <laughs> sure you did. Only the water ate it. Britta, I nearly lost my best friend getting that flower. But if you can't accept me as I am, I'll leave. Wait, Snag. Maybe there is more to you than I thought. For once, you've chosen not to brag or boast. Huh? Oh, a nice flower. You are a brave man. <laughs> I'll never doubt you again. Hi, <laughs> lass. You're the one for me. <laughs> <laughs> To aid Conan in his battle against the evil Rathamon, I, Epimetrius, roused a magical phoenix named Needle. Needle has many special powers. He can survive blazing fires, illuminate the darkest caverns, and even tap into memories of his phoenix ancestors from long ago. Needle is still only a baby and has much to learn. But one day, if he proves himself worthy, he will grow into a mighty adult phoenix. upon his family by driving the evil serpent men back into another dimension and vanquishing their leader, the cruel wizard Rathamon. Just a cheetah here. I'm a hang loose kitty riding the crest of Surf City. Life's a beach when Cheeto's paws are in reach. Whoa, bro. Check out the surfer girl shooting the curl. Awesome. And Big Alfonso going gonzo. Gonna dangle on this wave till I wrangle what I crave. Cheeto's brand paws. The cheese that go. <laughs> Crimes. Dear Dave, how could I have known it would be even better the second time? Of course I speak of Wendy's chicken cordon bleu sandwich. I am in love with the whole chicken breast filet, ham, Swiss, grey poupon, Dijon mustard and mayonnaise. All as you say on a toasted Kaiser bun. It was very different, very special. Au revoir, mon chéri. Wow. Wendy's chicken cordon bleu. There's nothing else like it anywhere. You've suffered through all kinds of diets and regimens, but if you don't get enough protein when you're dieting to lose fat, you might lose muscle. Protein can help you keep muscle while you lose fat, and Special K has the highest level of dietary protein available in a cereal. So one reason for including the under 200 calories Special K breakfast in a balanced diet is rather obvious. Special K. Keep the muscle. Lose the fat. She'll be out for hours. No one. Looks like a job for me, Shira. Out for a little too. 
If there's one thing I can't stand, it's having to pull guard duty at night. Yeah, me too. Don't be afraid, Lug. You got me here to protect you. Look, I may not be as gung-ho as the rest of you guys about this knights in shining armor stuff, but I pull my weight. <laughs> Glad to see you're pulling your weight. You and Tone get to the wall and reinforce Breeze and Lug. We'll launch a counterattack before Camelot is burnt down. Viper's plan is working. Continue the fire attack. Camelot is in flames. We attack in full force and what? Let's show them what knights are made of. are running away. Yo, Arthur, behind you! Fall back! Fall back! Let them go, Trunk. Come on, we got him on the run! No, have you forgotten the fire? We need it in Camelot. Knights, back to the castle. We've got a fire to fight. Without the blacksmith shop, we can't make arrows and horseshoes. Tone, we're gonna have to build a new one. Why, so they can burn it down again? Man, we're just sitting around here like a bunch of chumps waiting for the warlords to attack. Maybe it is time we went on the offensive. If you miss the Unicorn Slasher, we won't get another chance. I won't miss, Viper. What? Get the rope on him, quickly! Myself. 
try to hold on to this until we get him back to the castle. <laughs> I'm sure Queen Morgana can put your magic to good use. My guys are sick of fighting off attacks or riding out into one of the warlord's traps. I understand, my boy. Your men need to do something that will make them feel like knights. Yes, but there's more. If we're stuck here, we want to make the most of it. We're an offensive team. We want victory. We want glory. If you let me by, perhaps we can help each other. Come and see. Merlin, what happened? Ah! What? began earlier today. It can only mean one thing. A unicorn has been captured. But what would that have to do with this? Oh. <sighs> now stay still. Unicorns are part of the magical world. If one of them is ever captured and in danger, it sends shockwaves through the entire magic field. The only one powerful enough besides myself to capture a unicorn is Morgana. If she has one in her possession, then we're in big trouble. Why? Because a unicorn could be just what she needs to find the keys of truth before us, since it can speak to and command all the animals of the universe. So if she finds the keys before us, we'll be trapped here forever. Yes. And in a world where good has been destroyed for all time. You said your men need to do something. Very well. Either you free the unicorn from Morgana, or we all are doomed. I couldn't sleep after the fire last night. I'm so sleepy. What's new? You're always sleepy. Everett, Arthur wants me in the round table room. Uh, go to Lady Elaine and help her tidy up her room. Just how I want to spend the morning helping Lady Elaine tidy her room. Ah, alone at last. Now I can take a nice little nap without Everett complaining I'm sleepy. We're going on the offensive, guys. We're gone and the warlords have got something we want, and we're going to get it from them. What do we do when the other team has the ball? Hit them hard and I rip the ball right out of their heads. Yeah! Yeah! Go get them! The ball's in there, guys. Only this time, it's a unicorn. What? We're going into Castle Morgana to get a horse with a horn on his head? That horse with a horn in its head can help us find the keys of truth. And if we don't get it back, Morgana can make it help her. There's a sea level entrance to the castle, down here. Whoa! They must have like a ton of warlords guarding it. I mean, they'd spot us before we even got close. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. Tone's gonna build a decoy to make them think we're coming across the water, but we're really gonna be coming from up here. Oh yeah? Who's in on this? You are. Wally? Trunk? I'm gonna need a lot of muscle if things get tough for us on the way out. <laughs> and Lug, I want you along to handle our backup support. Lug, did you hear me? I heard you. King Arthur, Knights of Justice, speak the oath. I am King Arthur. And we are the Knights of Justice. We, we pledge fairness to all to protect the weak and vanquish the evil. gonna get past their siege line by moving fast I don't think they've recovered from last night yet we're gonna blow a hole in their line and bust right up the middle
Remember, Morgana's life depends on her fortress. She will do anything to save her castle from being destroyed. Remember, too, that Morgana conjures her magic with her hands. Keep them apart, and she will be powerless. In the name of justice, knights, attack! Arthur and some knights ride out of Camelot! The knights of justice approach! Get them! Arthur the False leads them. We will take an axe. The others can deal with the knights. <laughs> he will feel my blade to stay! <laughs> Well, looks like it's time to blow that hole in their line Arthur was talking about. Go, Trunk! You ever think about taking a bowling? Excalibur, be my strength! Tyrone! Oh, great! Just great! As if we don't have enough problems, now we got a kid tagging along! That sure was a bumpy ride. Oh man, breaking into Morgana's castle is one thing, but doing it with a kid hanging around? We're breaking into Castle Morgana? The only castle you're breaking into is Castle Camelot. Gee, uh... I'm going to have a tough time getting past all the warlords guarding it. Oh, give Sir Lug a hand getting our spare armor loaded onto Satone's wagon. But stay out of trouble. Yes, Your Majesty. Uh, of course, Your Majesty. <laughs> Tone, head for the sea and get to work on that decoy boat. Send it toward the cliff at sunset. Yeah! To Castle Morgana! We're going to attack Castle Morgana. Isn't this great, Sir Luck? Yeah, it's great. Just great. I feel some disturbance, Viper. Danger is coming our way. I can sense it. I know Merlin. The old magician must have sensed the unicorn's capture and sent the Knights of Justice against me. Bash and Blinder are on guard. Come, my viewing rock. Show me where my enemies are. It looks quiet, Morgana. Look! They attack by sea! What are Bash and Blinder doing down there, sleeping? I'll not lose that unicorn to them, Viper. Have every warlord in the castle attack that ship. Then fly to the siege line by Camelot and return with reinforcements. <laughs> Their ship will be sunk before it even nears the cliff. Down to the sea entrance. Everyone, down below. Tone's decoy boat worked. They're pulling all the guards. Lug, get the equipment out. Can I help you, Sir Lug? Huh? Uh, yeah, sure. Warlord Bash! Set your course for the night ship! Blinder, get to the front of the ship! We'll give them a surprise when we're close enough. It's 
deserted. This castle is ours. away from the castle! Back to our ship! We sail for the castle! My warlords have sailed out to meet the night ship. They are here, Viper. I can sense their presence. Take the unicorn to a place of hiding. I will remain here. Alone? Against the knights? There is no force on Earth that can defeat me in my own castle. The unicorn is what matters. Exactly how we feel. This is my battle. Excalibur, be my strength! <laughs> you are a bigger fool than I thought. Oh, is this how you noble knights treat a lady? Lady, you're no lady. Get him, Viper! Get the unicorn out of the castle! I'm only gonna ask you once where the unicorn is hidden. If you don't tell me, we will destroy your castle. You wouldn't dare. Wanna bet? Start tearing it apart! No! Don't. Much of my own life force energy is in this castle. Then tell me where the unicorn is. I will lead you to it. Hold on to her. We can live without any of her magic tricks. The unicorn is in a room beyond the next hall. It's... it's... Yes, the Cave of Glass. Arthur! And the other knights, all here for you to see. Check this out, Trunk. These guys are... Get out of you fast, man! Arthur King, listen to me. Who said that? It is I, the true King Arthur. You? It's you speaking? We've got to get you out of here! No, Arthur. It is not my time. You must save the unicorn. Don't believe what you see. Believe in Excalibur. What do you mean? That's it. The door looks solid, but I've got a feeling there's a big hole where I hit it with Excalibur. My man, have you gone and lost your mind? Leave it to Lug to lead the retreat. Hey, get off Lug's case. Morgana told Viper to take the unicorn out of the castle. We've got to catch up with him. Oh my gosh! Viper! Stand aside, knight, or I'll cut you down like wheat. Ah! <laughs> Say goodbye to your squire, courageous knight. Help! Slug! No one's hurting Tyrone! Ah! You'll pay for this! No, 
see who's gonna pay for what. <laughs> You are no match for me! Maybe not, but you're not taking this unicorn! No! Wait! Well, what are you waiting for? Get out of here! Destroy him! Thanks for the lift, Arthur. I'd do the same for any night. Shall we pursue? No, you fool. Get the unicorn back. Morgana needs it to find the keys of truth. Sir Lug, thank you so much. You saved my life. Oh, it was nothing. Nothing? Man, that was the bravest thing I ever saw anyone do. Hold your positions. The unicorn's safe! Thanks to you, brave knight. I know of your quest, Arthur. I shall speak the word amongst all the animals of this land in hopes of helping you find the key you seek. But something just as important has been found this day. Yes. A man has found his courage. To Camelot! Yo, love! Knights! 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 Love! 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 Knights! 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 knights. Gets a chair. Goldberg gets a chair. Uh, this could get ugly. They're gonna. Uh, 
They're gonna... Mm. Well, they're gonna eat pizza. Little Caesars WCW meal. Get a free WCW motion card when you order two medium pizzas for just $9.99. Collect all four. Pizza, pizza. I'll trade you these three for a Goldberg. Nope. Colonel William Guile. One of the greatest martial artists in the world travels the global tournament circuit, using it to conceal his top secret mission as leader of an elite group of international crime fighters known only by their code name, Street Fighter. The heroic man beast, Blanca, hard kicking fighting machine, Chun Li. The team of the most amazing warriors ever seen have joined forces with Guile to combat the criminal empire of Shadaloo and its superhuman leader, Bison. They have their own code of honor, discipline, justice, commitment, and together they will triumph against the forces of evil. Street Fighter! Know what I like about you triad goons? The way you go splat when you smash into a wall. The quality of these enforcers has definitely gone down. Good help is so hard to find these days. like I told you to? The Dryad wants to destroy us for freeing their slaves, but they will not succeed as long as I'm still breeding. The war will be over unless one of us escapes. I'll draw their fire. You get out of here! Oh, no way I'm letting you hog all the glory. Gonna make it, Ken. Hang in there. No. <coughs> it, it's over. It's your fight now. No. No! I will avenge you, my friend. I swear you will not have died in vain. Cut, Prince. That was great. Yeah, yeah, I'm a regular Jack Nicholson. Don't uh, forget my performance when you fill out your Oscar ballots. Thanks. We'll break until after lunch. Hey, Ken, thanks for using your cheap hours. We could never have afforded a fireball special effect without you. On our tight budget, we need to watch every penny. Hey, it was cool. I just wish you didn't have to kill me off so early. But it does give me time for, uh, other things. Hi there, girls. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh, Ryu? Yes, Ken, you were good. But your chi powers are special. They should not be wasted in such a trivial manner. Hey, there's plenty more fireballs where they came from. Right, girls? Am I hot or what? Later, guys. Fei Long, is it wise to be making a movie about your problems with the triad? Wo Fat must be stopped. This movie will expose his crimes to the world and raise enough money to fight his corruption in Hong Kong. A noble desire, if perhaps a foolish one. Get down! I said cut! Fei Long, he's not an actor! He's a real triad enforcer? So, we try out the hot tub and then maybe, uh... Huh, must be shooting a scene without me. Oh, uh, where was I? Oh, uh, yeah. And then after the hot tub... <laughs> you 
until your triad buddies Fei Long is after them and nothing can stop me. Do not be so certain of that, Actor. No one can evade the triad's long reach, even in Hollywood. Fei Long? Jones. A.B. Jones from the Completion Bond Company. We insure your motion picture. We agreed to insure a movie, not a private vendetta. Hmm... Not good at all. These sets are totally destroyed, Mr. Fei Long. I came here to tell you, we are withdrawing our support of this movie. You are no longer insured. What do you mean? I mean your insurance is cancelled. There will be no movie. The production is over. Everyone go home! Oh, man. Get this right. Hey, guys! I got a date with this gorgeous babe and... Hey, hey, where's everybody going? Guys, I, I thought you had to shoot another scene! They shut us down, Ken. There won't be any movie. My career is finished, and Wolf Fat will continue to exploit the weak and the helpless. I've lost everything. I have no money, no movie. Now I'll never be able to stop Wolf Fat. Ryu, how many girls like your cousin Sachi will become slaves because I can no longer battle the forces of the Triad? If not for you, Fei Long, we never would have saved Sachi. Fei Long, what would it take to finish your picture? A new group of investors. And seeing how it was very difficult to find the first group of investors, I don't see how we can line up funding by tomorrow. If we don't, they start tearing down the sets. But none of us has those kind of resources. One of us has financial connections. Right, Ken? What? Oh, no way, Ryu! Never! I told you, nobody is ever supposed to know. Nobody's supposed to know what? Ken, we owe Fei Long a debt of honor. He helped us. We can do no less for him. Oh, I hate it when you start up with that honor stuff. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me see where I can find him. Find who? Well, where is he? He's been waiting for you, sir. He's been waiting a long time. Hey, who's this mystery man, and why is Ken so afraid of seeing him? The fifth richest man in the world, Danton Masters. He's also Ken's father. It's been a long time, son. I thought you didn't want anything to do with me. Dad! I called you about a movie deal. You agreed that we wouldn't talk about us. All right, all right. I heard your proposal, and I agree a Fei Long Kung Fu movie can still bring in money. I'll invest. Great! On one condition. <sighs> There's always strings attached with you. Ken, six million dollars is a big investment. I need someone to look out for my interests, keeping an eye on the production. You. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean it, Ken. You have to be responsible this time. No quitting in the middle of the project. No getting distracted by some trivial pursuit. You always thought whatever I did was trivial. You always expected me to be like you. Well, that's why I had to leave in the first place. You came to me about this. If you can't take it seriously... Okay. Okay! I'll watch out for your investment. Just... Just cut the check, will ya? Good. Remember, I'm holding you responsible if anything goes wrong. Hey, trust me! I can do it! Yeah, Wolfette. Well, uh, but I, uh, I knew you'd want to be informed. Fei Long's movie is back in production. I know. You do? You think we have only one agent on the set? Who do you think watches you? Another cold one. And more ice. Get it yourself. Oh, hey, hey, it's you, Ryu. You know, this writing's a lot harder than it looks. You remember we're supposed to join Guile soon in San Francisco? Uh, yeah, right. Um, the Street Fighter mission. I don't know, Ryu. I'm real busy. Can't Guile get somebody else to help him? Ken, we gave our word. 
Listen to me. No! You listen to me! You're just like my father, always going on about commitments and responsibilities. Well, well, maybe it's time that I look out for number one. That's what you do best, Ken. So, Yen Lo, you thought Fei Long would stop us. Ha! He is nothing to the triad. <laughs> Pick on someone your own size, triad death merchants. You will never succeed in destroying an honest man. Or an honest woman. I battle at your side, my love. No, you must protect the girls. No, no time. Go. Cut. Print. That was perfect! You looked great, Yun Lo. Good job. Thanks, Fei Long. I loved working with you. Hey, it's about time you got here. We need to shoot some retakes on your death scene. Death of Ken, take two. Roll them! You're gonna make it. Hang in there. Yeah. <coughs> yes, it's true. I can feel life returning to me. I... I feel stronger. I'm... I'm more powerful than ever. You're right, my brother. A true warrior can never die before the battle's end. Let the Triad beware! They face two of us now. Hold it! Cut! Cut! What are you doing? You're supposed to die. Not anymore. <laughs> I rewrote the scene. Hey, trust me. It's better this way. No, no! You can't change the script! I'm the writer! I'm the director! And it's my father's money that's paying for this! So I'm the producer, and what I say goes! What else does His Majesty demand? Well, as of now, I'm your co-star, because together we can make this movie twice as great! Oh, uh, yeah, and I'm expanding Yun Lo's part. I'm gonna enjoy working with this babe. Ah, oh, my hero! Everyone remember, we're fighting on the edge of the roof. Because of the height, we can't use airbags. So be sure your harnesses and wires are on tight. We're ready. Ken, where's your harness? Hey, man, I don't need one. It'd just cramp my style. Whatever you say, boss. It's your funeral. Action! Wire. Location stunt works dangerous. An unexpected accident on the set today of Triad Enforcers, the real story, almost ended film star Fei Long's life. It's amazing that such an experienced martial arts master as Fei Long was so careless. And fortunate his production is blessed with such a responsible newcomer, Ken Masters. We've got a feeling the world's gonna be hearing a lot more from Masters. His star is on the rise. Maybe it's time for Fei Long to hang up the nunchucks and make way for new blood.
Fei Long, where's Ken? Oh, probably out partying. He's late every day, he refuses to rehearse, and he's blowing all of his lines. Oh, I'd fire him, but his father's paying all the bills. Oh, don't we look cool today? Hey! <laughs> Coolness comes with being a star. You were supposed to be here hours ago. Hey, man, I'm here now. What's the difference? Hey, Ryu, what's up? I came to get you for Guile's mission, remember? Oh, yeah. Um, hey, you go without me. You always wanted to be undercover. Me, I, uh, I want the spotlight. <laughs> hey, anyone seen Yun Lo? Ken, you made a promise. Your friends are counting on you. Hey, I changed my mind. Sue me. Ken, we've been friends for a long time, but this is the last straw. I've had it with you. You're the most irresponsible person I've ever met. Yun Lo! Hey, I've been looking for you. You want to, uh, party tonight? I have to rehearse. Ken, leave her alone. She's trying to be professional. Unlike you. It's bad enough what you're doing to yourself. But don't drag Yun Lo down with you. Look at you. You don't get any sleep. You're out every night partying until dawn. You're out of shape. Hey, I'm still in good enough shape to kick your butt. Don't forget who's the star here. Now let's do this scene. Roll them. Cut! Uh, hey, I I'm sorry, I, I missed. Can we do that again? Take 14. Cut! 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 All right, last scene. And if Ken doesn't muck it up, we'll finally be done. <laughs> yeah, like you could. That does it! And I've had it with you too! Maybe we should stop. Oh, oh, man, get a camera! Hey man, that's great! That's lucky set of both yet! And they threw you out of Hong Kong! Well. Now I'm throwing you out of Hollywood. You've gotten sloppy and weak. You would never have fallen for that move before. Look at you. You've ignored your training, and you've turned against all of your friends. And you... You're a loser! But I'm... Ken, no! That's the film negative! What's left of your father's investments? I hope you're happy. Wolf Fat and all his spies tried to stop this production and couldn't. It took an agent of destruction far more devastating than, than any he could muster. It took you, my friend. Fei Long, uh, I'm so sorry, man. I got starstruck. I don't know, I went crazy. I let down my father, my friends, even myself. Being sorry won't restore the film. Being sorry won't defeat Wo Fat. Being sorry won't repay your father. Either the money or his trust. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I have to change. I, I see that now. And my father was right. I have to take responsibility for my actions. If you really mean that, then it was worth losing my money if I got my son back. Mr. Masters, I want to thank you again for helping me. All I did was make a few phone calls. 
You got me a starring role in a new movie filming in Hong Kong. When I'm done, I'll finally be able to go after Wo Fat. I owe you a lot, sir. But not as much as I owe you. Thanks, pal. So, are you ready to settle down and come work with me, Ken? I can't, Dad. I still have to do what I believe in. But even more important than that, I have a commitment to keep. yourself for combat. Mortal Kombat action figures. Fight for right in your own tournament of champions. Liu Kang. Johnny Cage. Raiden. Get over here. Sub-Zero. Reptile in the Dragon MK1. Kino on the combat cycle. Mortal Kombat. It's not just a game anymore. Mortal Kombat action figures. Combat cycle comes with Kano. Dragon MK1 comes with Reptile. Stop! Stop, evildoers! Introducing Super Stretching Superhero Stretch Armstrong! Yes, Stretch Armstrong! Now stretching fun farther than ever before! He bends, he stretches, even ties and knots, but always returns to his original shape! How's he do that? He's been doing that since he was a kid! <laughs> Stretch Armstrong from Cap Toys! Who else? What's cool? Z-Box. Robots that fit in your fist. Z-Box. Tough. Arm. Outrageous. Good box. Evil box. All ready for battle. Totally cool! If you think these bots are tough, here's the mother of them all. Megabot. The ultimate battling Z-Bot. With secret battle stations firing rocket launchers. And a mega cool place for Z-Bot battle vehicles. Mega tough. Mega cool. Megabot. Yeah! Z-Bot's figure packs vehicles and new Megabot each sold separately from Micro Machines. Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? <laughs> the Shadow Knows. Armed with Quick Draw 45s, the mysterious crime fighter faces the evil Shawan Khan, now ready for battle. But Shadow's hypno eyes cloud men's minds. You will obey. I will obey. But Khan escapes on his serpent bike. After him, Shadow! Khan fires Boom. first. Shadow Cycle pops a ah. wheelie, launching a counter missile. Oh. Each sold separately. <laughs> End of the road, Khan. Or is it? Who knows? <laughs> the Shadow Knows. I feel kind of weird about this. All part of the job, Slick. What makes you so sure it's coming through here? Dark, secluded. This is where I'd go. was no Cupid's arrow. Had no choice. Tretzvans don't break hearts. They eat them.
Dude, behind you. Huh? Goes there? Hey, that wasn't there. I can't believe we spent two hours looking for a chair. Yet, not a chair. An amazing simulation. Zed, Slick and I took stock of the Jersey landing. We're dealing with an... Inanimate. An Echo V is to be exact. It can manipulate its molecules to mimic any inanimate object it touches. Haven't seen her before. She's not local. Agent Aileen will be working with us on this case. I'm Jay. Nice to see a fresh human face after dealing with butt-ugly aliens all day. Really? You know some of my best friends are aliens. Hey! Of course, talk like this can be a bit disarming. Shall we stick to business, Agent Jay? Yes, ma'am. Told you she wasn't local. Tiger. Good to see you again, Kay. Uh... You know him? Intimately. <gasps> She's talking about the perp. The Echo V's is one of the most ruthless beings I've encountered. I would know. It took my partner. A uh, son, due to Aileen's familiarity with the inanimate, I'm temporarily partnering her with Kay. What? Like old times. You'll be partnered with you. Going solo? I get lonesome. Not you, you. Agent you. Sir. You and you will be working on a uh, special assignment. Great idea as usual, Chief. That's why you're Mr. MIB. <sighs> Hi, kids. <laughs> I'm Oxy, the Oxyanobis centipede. Now, to help you remember how to act human here on planet Earth, Oxy and Agent J are going to sing you a little song. Sorry to hear about Philomar. He was a good cop. I'll be thinking about him when I bring down the inanimate. Time to face facts. With Philobar gone, there's a void that needs to be filled. Anyone in mind? Definitely something different about him. Agent J, unauthorized departure from an assignment is a violation of code 5822A1Q. Haven't you read the MIB manual? Waiting for the movie, Upton. Uh, uh, code names are classified. How did you know that- Your letter's you. You don't look like an Ursula. <clears throat> Frank. Been a while. Aileen, uh, nice to see you. We're looking for an inanimate. Talk to him. Hasn't moved in days. <laughs> uh, nothing to tell. Uh, nope, not a thing. Ladies first. Be a good doggy. Speak. Yeah, choking me. My hands are nowhere near your. Let go, now! <laughs> what did it want? I don't know. It was asking questions about MIB. Whoa! Let's move! Attention. 
flashing blue light special. We have a sewer leak. Please exit the stores and go file. Wow. Oh, a little far from base, Slick. Missed you. This was entirely Agent J's idea, sir. Unpucker, son. Haven't got time. I want a full sweep. North, south, east. All over it! Hey, you heard the man. Sewer leak. <gasps> Yo, dummy! Huh? Cowboy. Lock, stock, and barrel. Excellent shooting, sir. You nicked him. A lot. He can only sustain harm in his true form. Gone. How do you lose a 10-ton air conditioning system? That's what I want to know. Me too, sport. Me too. Let's get you patched up. I want you to know I plan on filing a formal complaint regarding your behavior. You are a disgrace to that suit. At least I'm not a bootlicker. Sorry, I should have knocked. Always the gentleman. Orange juice. Ah, thanks. I tried analyzing the pattern of the inanimate's appearances, but they seem totally random. How are you at reading lips? Mm, that's a beaut. Knee scrod confrontation. Bit right through a titanium flak suit. Plevonite gave me an acid wash. Ruined a good pair of shoes, too. I'll see your Blevonite and raise you a Hothmot. Ooh, those sting. This one hurts the most. A heart-eating Tretzvan. A heartbreaking human. They're cute together. Don't know what he sees in her. Gee, she's only brilliant. A good cop. Attractive. Don't be too sure about that last part. She's got tentacles. I've seen them.
you want to put this on? In a minute, handsome. Know what I think? You're jealous. <sighs> she lost a partner back on her planet. Maybe I don't want to lose mine. Just unconscious. Fumes from all the brown nosing must have knocked him out. I'll call up the last file accessed. The Kinani 6000. Intergalactic supermissile the MIB intercepted back in the 70s and kept under lock and key. Enough power to annihilate an entire planet. Like mine. He's going to steal a missile? Or mimic it. Destruction with the personal touch. Come on, you. You know the drill. Need a voice print ID before I can let you through. <gasps> a guard at exit 5 was just down by... Oxy the centipede. The inanimate. Needle in a haystack. Better bets if we beat him there. Defuse the missile. Let him mimic a dud. Just have to finish printing the 6,000 schematics. We'll need a disabling code. Maybe you should pull up the LTD. Every second counts. He's the only one who drives. Today's special. Got company in town. <laughs> Ooh, baby. LTD in this one, mine stops on a dime. What's ceiling tile doing on the wall? So this is where MIB keeps the most powerful weapon in the galaxy. LTD tracks. Inanimates here. We better split up. Have fun playing kissy face. I'll yell if I get ambushed by a drinking fountain. I'll go with Jay. He has a knack for attracting the inanimate. Come on. Bet you're anxious to wrap this up and head home. Hope I have a planet to go home to when this is over. Long trip like that must get lonely. No. We'll be in suspended animation. We? Didn't Kay tell you? Which 
one's which? K. In here! Disable this thing pronto, or I'm going on an extended vacation. Too risky. Could blow. Listen up. The Kinani's manual override control panel is about 50 feet up. And it locks. Guaranteed blast off. No! Backwards! Things no good with numbers! I hope you're right, Slick. Losing K, you'll be gaining you. Good luck with Aileen. I mean it. Listen, Slick, I... Don't say anything or I'm not gonna get this out. When she's around, you almost smile. You never almost smile. Just take it slow. You could crack the face. But I... Read my lips. Aileen's good for you. Now get on that ship and don't look back. Word of advice, sport. Stay clear of the ships when they're fueling. Fumes are affecting your brain. Aren't you going home with Aileen? Thanks for the support, kid. But this really is like old times. I thought you wanted to be... We do. Just can't agree where. Got a hundred cases waiting on our desk. And I've got a hundred on mine. Okay. Okay. Don't be a stranger. Small universe. And Slick! Take care of our partner. Fuel fumes really sting the eyes, huh? Yeah. Not ordinary tortilla chips, our new chachos are flour tortilla chips. Flour? We're making new keeper chachos. We're making new keeper chachos. Lightly crispy chachos. Flour tortilla chips. Hey, hey! We're making cheesy quesadilla. We're making cinnamon crispagna. And if I want to dip it all, we're making Reverend Dollar original. New keeper chachos! Lightly crispy flour tortilla chips. Hey! 
Tango Technic. After you make it, make it move. Pistons that pump. Gears that'll get you going. Motors that muscle. And blades that'll blow you away. Technically speaking, it'll turn you on. The Lego Technic Collection. Each set sold separately, batteries not included. My spider sets. Good, honey. Spider me. Whoa. Spider Man cereal. Cool. New Spider Man cereal. It's the action packed part of your balanced breakfast. Sweet, crunchy webs crawling with marshmallows like Hot Goblin's Pumpkin Bob and the King Pear. It's an adventure at every bowl. You get something? Nope. Spider-Man cereal, swinging into a store near you. Now there's a free exclusive Fleer Ultra Spider-Man card in specially marked boxes of Spider-Man cereal. Dr. Pirano is attacking the city! Time to fly! Shark attack! Shark attack! Sea sharks! Jetpack jam! Fires up his new jetpack to battle Pirano with his liquid laser gun! Bends! Sky surfs in! Reptile shoots his blood-sucking eels! But wait! Slugger slam to the rescue! No match for the Street Sharks! Sharks. Street Shark figures, each sold separately, only from Mattel. I've never seen Godzilla so hyperactive. Maybe it's time you realize that that creature is a ticking time bomb. Come on, man. Get Robo Jock in his face. Knock it off! <sighs> the signal beacon? And not one of ours. <laughs> on private property. Identify yourself. 
Now, is that any way to talk to an old friend? Cameron Winter? Except no imitations. You know Cameron Winter? We went to college together. It's no big deal. He's only the world's richest, most hunkiest CEO. Not to mention the biggest techno guru. Hey, looks like the guru just met his match. Hardly, Mr. Hernandez. I never actually intended any harm. I just needed to field test my cyberflies against a worthy opponent. Is that what this is about? Drawing out Godzilla for target practice? That, and confirming his connection to the illustrious Heat Team. Why don't you all come ashore and tour my facility? I always prefer conducting business face to face. I have no business with you, Cameron. Are you nuts? Nobody's ever seen the inside of Solstice Technologies. We can't pass up a personal invite from the man himself. Not to mention embarrassing stories about Nick at frat parties. Forget it. Anything Cameron Winter has to offer always has strings attached. Then perhaps you would not object to me taking a private tour. Christmas! This is my backup fleet. The latest models are all out in the field. So, you guys were school chums? I wouldn't say chums. Nichols was too busy dissecting garden slugs to hang out with the rest of us. Nichols? <laughs> well, we called him that because Nichols were all he was ever gonna earn. Aren't we shy someone? No. Uh -uh. This is it. <laughs> As you can see, we have the most sophisticated bioengineering facility in the world. We're making incredible strides. Let's just say we'll be ready to move mankind to the next level once Congress comes to its senses on that cloning thing. <laughs> An army of Cameron Winters. Just what the world needs. Quite an achievement, Dr. Craven. I can't imagine what you could do with a budget. Well, I believe the rest of your party has decided to join us after all. <laughs> Neural stimulators makes for much happier pups. You all right? If you promise to refrain from any oh-so-French industrial espionage, I'll put you on the payroll, too. Payroll? I want you and your little band to come work for me. Excuse me? Say what? I can offer you full government cooperation, first-rate facilities, and very generous salaries. I can even make your academic problems go away. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I think we've seen enough. We both know mutation-based weaponry is the next wave. Why not be ahead of the curve for a change? Mayday! Godzilla is on the attack! Mayday! Mayday!
mind explaining that? The neural stimulators work like a charm on my attack dogs. It only made sense to try it on yours. Where do you come off? Like he's your property. Goodbye, Cameron. It's a wild animal, Nick. How long before it turns on you? That greasy little weasel tries to mess with Godzilla's brain, and then acts like he was doing me a favor. I hate to say it, Nick, but Winter did have a point. In the long run, it might even be the most humane solution. Yeah, maybe we ought to shove a neural stimulator in your brain. Hey! Ah. Who sent you? Talk. I'm from Norfolk County Community College. It's okay. I know him. Oh, I'm really sorry, man. He's cool. He's just my academic advisor. I thought he went to Empire State Tech. Yeah, I was booted out, okay? Delinquent on class assignments. Uh, Tendence has been spotty at best. He's been looking out for the environment with my organization. Listen, it really isn't my decision. It's a waste of my time anyway. I can ace any of your exams in my sleep. Look, I know you think you're slumming it in a lowly community college. What was that? Oh, not now! He's back in the water, sir. Increase the frequency by 1700 megahertz. He's trying to resist it, sir. Well then, more power to him. Get him out of here. He just started going crazy. What's his problem? You tell me. Stop! Go back! Back in the water! That should give them all something to think about. Somebody want to tell me what that was? <laughs> A wake-up call. Well, it's about time one of you came to your senses. I've already spoken to the Empire Tech Admissions Board. You can start up next fall on full scholarship, all prior disciplinary actions. Well, they're not there anymore. Hey, you think that's why I'm here? Okay, so I got a little out of control with the computer hacking. Was I hurting anybody? Uh, apparently the Dean of Sciences thought so, and no decent school's been willing to touch you since. The point is, Nick stuck his neck out for me. I've got to do the same for him, that's all. This will stimulate the pleasure centers in Godzilla's brain, instantly pacifying him. It's designed to fit inside his inner ear. Think you can insert it? Approaching primary insertion point. What are you doing with Nigel, you little punk? Every time I turn around, you're playing your little hacker games. <laughs> Let go! Knock it off, both of you. Neurotransmitter implanted. Initiating diagnostics protocols. I trusted you. Look, man, I did it for you, okay? You went to winter behind my back? He's out of control, Nick. What was I supposed to do? Wait for him to fry you? It's not like we even have to use this thing. It's just a precaution. Did your new buddy tell you to say that? How much is he paying you to stab me in the back? Ugh. Uh, forget this! Randy, wait! Let him go. Get Nigel back online. I want that thing out of there. You sure? Now! Nick? This is just a speaker. There, there aren't any actual controls. What kind of game is Winter playing? I got a feeling we're about to find out. It's not be 
behavior modification. Involuntary motor control? Just like a big puppet. And guess who's pulling the strings? Hey! You wanna stay outside the wake? Whoa! Uh. Come on, Nigel. Just one quick ear exam and we all go home. Subject acquired. Approaching target area. Now, now, Godzilla, what did Mother tell you about picking up hitchhikers? No! Nigel! I think Nigel's the least of our problems. Turn that up. Destroyed millions of dollars in weaponry and threatens the lives of over 500 soldiers. We've received word that air support has been mobilized. Time's over, Gecko. Your timing's impeccable. Watch. <gasps> I love that! Makes a nice prototype, don't you think? Now imagine an arsenal of Godzillas. Not just weapons of mass destruction, but more importantly, my own personal cash cow. If I had a partner to help me work with these critters, someone who knows how they think, where to find them, well, it would be mutually beneficial. Oh, you're right about one thing. You need help. <laughs> I'm stung. What do you gain by attacking your prospective clients? Me? Godzilla's attacking them. I'm just the guy who'll get the contract to replace all the damaged weaponry. Cha-ching. Sir. We have an unauthorized deployment of the cyberflies. What? What do you know? It works on all kinds of dogs. How do you shut this thing down? Uh -huh. Simulator must still be interfering with his natural motor control. He can't fight back. What'll they do to him? Probably 
just put him out of his misery. Hi, Cammy. Time to upgrade your security protocols? I think so. I thought we had an understanding. You jerk me around. I don't walk away from my problems, and I don't walk away from my friends. Pretty speech. Too bad it won't help Godzilla evade those F-18s. Up. You don't owe me, Effie. Not even my trust? Let's see. Breaking and entering? Assault? Industrial espionage? We'll take it from here. I put in a call to Major Hicks. He's real interested in you. My attorneys will eat you for breakfast, considering you've just destroyed all the evidence for me. Oh, no, 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 no. Not all the evidence. Cammy. Be seeing you soon, Nichols. You can bet on it. We've got a lot to cover today, people. I need your take-home exams up front. Mr. Hernandez, what brings you here? If you don't mind, I've got some catching up to do. <laughs> <laughs> 